Becoming a professional football player is a dream shared by many young athletes, but making a name for yourself and becoming a special player is something that only a few can really achieve. To adjusting to the speed and physicality of the game, Garrett Wilson and Sauce Gardner proved themselves amid seasoned veterans as rookies, where they carved out a place for themselves where every inch gained, every decision made, shaped their careers. The two had the talent and the drive to become breakthrough players in their rookie year and achieve the highest honor their first year by winning defensive and offensive rookie of the year. Garrett Wilson. You know, this is a blessing and I'm so thankful. So in this video, we'll break down the two athletes and why they were able to be their best in their class, analyzing their speed agility, quickness, and athleticism. In his rookie season, Garrett had 83 total receptions, 1,103 total yards, ranking him 15th in the NFL, four touchdowns, 56 receiving first downs, and was targeted 147 times. His game in week 13 against the Vikings being his most impressive with a total of 162 yards. I think Garrett Wilson's gonna be amazing this okay. year. I'm going with the New York Jets and Garrett Wilson, and I'm looking at slow motion footage of yeah. Aaron Rodgers doing a play action, and Robert Sala watching, and Nathaniel <laughs> Hackett watching, and it's just like a thing of beauty, and this was all we got in the OTAs, and Wilson <laughs> making the unbelievable grab and after the catch. Let's take a look at the offense rookie of the year, Garrett Wilson right there in the spot shadow, and he's gonna run this corner route, week one, against the Baltimore Ravens, his first NFL game. So on this play, he's gonna run this corner route like this, all right? But watch when he runs this, what he does at the top of the route. That's the key. Jimmy Smith is a veteran corner. And when right there, when he turns to open up right here to run this route, like you're gonna see his ability right here to just put the defender on the ground. Like Jimmy Smith is now on the ground. Now the key here, is how he comes back to the football aggressively right here. So the other defender can't get there. So this is a key. His ability to constantly come back to the football is paramount to his success. Now, his first NFL touchdown came against the Cleveland Browns the following week. And it's just a great route. Like, Elijah Moore is going to run in motion right here, and it's going to really key him to be freed up on the outside one-on-one -on -one against Martin Emerson, who's a good rookie corner, had a great season. But when you watch this release, this is the key. Watch him shake release here to be able to get instant separation. Bam. Now Joe Flacco has got this throw to an area out here. It's just going to be an easy throw for him. Just drop it in the bucket. Easy touchdown, first touchdown of the career. Pass right for Wilson. He's got it. Toe tap. Right corner of the end zone. Garrett Wilson with a Jet touchdown. 25 seconds to go in the game. Jets down 30 to 24. Flacco a quarterback. And here's Garrett Wilson. Going to run this post right through the defense of the Cleveland Browns. Like for the game winner. First game winner. I mean, this is it. It's third and 10 right now. You got to win the game. He's going to run this post. And so here it is. Easy throw, catch, celebration in the city that rocks. The one guy that was rocking was Garrett Wilson. Two touchdown performance in the Jets' first win of the season. Touchdown! Garrett Wilson scores! Here we have Garrett Wilson, and he's going to go across the formation in motion right here. And Mike Hilton is going to run with him, the nickel defender for the Cincinnati Bengals. I tell almost every young player now, when he goes in motion, across the formation, and the defender runs with them. It's usually an indicator that it's man coverage right here, except it's not man coverage. On the play, you're going to see it's actually zone coverage. And Garrett Wilson is going to recognize it immediately. Mike Hilton's going to go out, and he sees it, and he sits down. It makes it an easy throw right here. Like, he recognizes the zone so quickly against a pre-snap look that looks like it's man-to-man. -man. So really instant recognition by Garrett allows him to catch that pass in a first down against the Bengals. Up the scene, caught by Garrett Wilson, breaks free at the 50, dodges a tackler. He's down inside the Steeler 45. In the fourth quarter against Pittsburgh, the Jets line up with the three receivers to one side of the field. All right, they're down 20 to 10 in the fourth quarter and they need a play. And they're gonna call this deep over route here to Garrett Wilson. He's gonna beat the defender in man coverage. I mean, if, you, if you're going to play and be an elite player in this league, you got to be able to beat man coverage. And on this route right here, he clearly wins. And the throw is made. But here's the key. Yes, he's going to make the catch here at the 36-yard line.
But watch what he does after the catch because this is what separated him. After the catch, he gets his track shoes on, and it takes the all-pro free safety, Minkin Fitzpatrick, to bring him down after a 35-yard gain. That's the spark the Jets needed in the fourth quarter. Right. Looks downfield, fires a bomb for Garrett Wilson. He's got it at the 25, spins inside the 20. Still on his Let's take a look against the New England Patriots. Here's Garrett Wilson inside and Braxton Berrios outside. And on this route, Berrios is going to run this post, and he's going to take two defenders with him, and Garrett is going to run this wheel route behind it. It's a great route combination right here. And he's going to see the void against the Patriots right here created by what they do with Braxton Berrios. Like you can see, two defenders run with Berrios right here. So here's Garrett Wilson right now into this void, and it's an easy throw. 50-plus yard catch and run, uh, setting up the Jets for a score after that catch. Good route combination, but understanding the route combination was the key. Garrett Wilson with a catch and run. A 55-yard I mean, he's just going to run this post route right here against Phil Dorr. And the free safety here in the middle of the field is going to fall down. Well, it happens. Like, you don't want to fall, but when you do, you got to make him pay. So he's going to run out of this stack formation right here. And he's going to win. So here it is. He's coming across the formation right here in the middle of the field. And then the thing that I loved about Garrett all year is he had a plan to get open. And then he had a plan after the catch. Makes Vildor miss, and then he goes the distance. I think it was 54 yards and the Jets' final touchdown of the day and their seventh win of the season. In stride, Garrett Wilson. Breaks free, punch left, 45-40. Down to the Vikings, 30. Gets a block. Inside. Let's take a look at Garrett Wilson in this play against the Minnesota Vikings. He had a great day, like over 160 yards of catches in this game. But he's going to run this route into the middle of the field. It's dangerous. Because you got defenders coming here, they're going to close on it. So he knows that when you come in the middle of the field like he's going to against the Vikings, you're going to take a hit. So even right here, like that right there is a safety looking for work, and he runs away from Chan Sullivan, and then he picks up some speed and ends up going 60 yards after that catch, got knocked out of bounds. But that was one of his biggest plays of the season. He has a confidence of a guy named Sauce. Sauce Gardner, the rookie out of Cincinnati. He's outstanding. He's like, man, this guy's playing like a Pro Bowl. Sauce Gardner again on the coverage. Sauce Gardner, all pro defensive rookie of the year, had 20 passes defense, ranking him first in the NFL. 51 solo tackles, 24 assisted tackles, adding up to a total of 75 tackles this season, along with two interceptions. Like, here's Sauce Gardner on this play against the Ravens, week one. Now, he's got great vision. This is zone defense, right? So he's going to be looking in the backfield, and he didn't see anything coming. He's going to go look for work. Like, to have this type of awareness so early, watch this play, because now he's looking in the backfield, all right? So you've got all kinds of action here, but he sees Mark Andrews running this deep over route. He probably already knows that he's the number one target of Lamar Jackson. And so on the play, he picks up Mark Andrews, and he stopped, makes his first pass defense of the year. Sauce Gardner. Oh. Jamar Chase broken up. Sauce Gardner. Now, this is an elite receiver. I mean, this is the Jamar Chase. And you get tested by the best. And Jamar is strong. He's going to run this straight go route where you bisect the numbers in the sideline. Now, right here, Sauce's ability, okay, to be able to feel it, like right here, Jamar goes behind him, all right? But right now, he's going to get his eyes back on the ball. He's going to get his eyes back right here and be able to see the ball and feel the man. And right here, the moment of truth, he gets the ball out of Jamar Chase's hands. He strips him. So it's a perfect play. It's picked off, and that's the first interception by Gardner. Okay, on this play, Miami's going to send River Craycraft up, and he's going to run this out, okay, in motion. Now, this is his first interception of his career right here. And again, he's in zone coverage. So right now, like, he's looking back right here. He's cluing the quarterback. Like, his ability right here to be able to look back, clue the quarterback here right in the backfield, but still be able to make a break on the ball right there is key. So let's watch, just watch how he plays this. Jumps right in front of the pass right there, 
and takes his first interception. Celebration is on. Rodgers going over the middle. Sauce Gardner again on the coverage. Lazard, the intended receiver. Here against his new teammate, Aaron Rodgers, you're going to have Alan Lazard matched up with Sauce. And on this play, he's going to run this shallow cross. And really, it's just one-on-one. -on -one. But what I like about the play here is this pass is actually perfectly thrown to Lazard. Like, here he is on the cross. Now, Sauce is in a perfect position right here, okay? When you watch this, he's on his upfield shoulder, and he's looking back at the quarterback. So he's going to see the release of the ball. But here's the key, is Lazard has the ball. But now, Sauce is going to punch this ball out with his right hand. Like, he's not going to allow him to catch it. All right, so the play's never over until the whistle blows. And what I like is he picks up every loose ball. You never know. End zone, incomplete. Cortland Sutton got lost in the sauce. Fourth quarter, under a minute to go. Fourth down, final play. Fourth and three right here. Denver is going to their lead receiver. This is Cortland Sutton. He's going to run this go route to the end zone. All right? Now, he's in a position right here. He's just looking at his belt buckle. All right, no matter what Cortland does, like, he's, he's just completely focused and locked in on the receiver. So, Cortland Sutton is a big receiver. He's six foot two and change. Now, look at what his positioning right here. His positioning is key. He's looking right at Cortland Sutton, reading the route. He knows it's a go route right now. So, now what's he do? Right here, he gets his eyes back on the ball. He can see the flight right here of the ball. So, this is it. It's, it's crunch time. Do or die. Gets that left hand in the ball and in in, right in the hands of Sutton right there and breaks that play up, stopping a touchdown and preserving the win for the Jets and a tough place to play, mile high up in Denver. All right, now, on this play, this here is Jacoby Myers. And Mac Jones is looking at Sauce almost 10 yards off right here. So this is going to be a quick hitch to the outside. Just going to try and get the ball into Jacoby Myers' hands. But right here... Sauce proved 75 tackles on a year. But right here in the open field, can you get Jacoby Myers down? Yeah, without any help. Clean tackle, no gain, does his job right there, makes a great play. Allen on the run, launches it deep, and it is, is it caught? Oh, it comes out at the end. I mean, this is why you go get a Sauce Gardner early in the draft. This is going to be a touchdown. So let's take a look at Sauce against the Buffalo Bills here. This is his own coverage. He's going to play with his butt to the sideline. Now, why do you do that? You do that right here so you can see everything. See, right here, he's cluing Josh Allen right here on this play action, but he's feeling the route here of, jo of uh, Smoke Brown. Okay, so watch how he plays this. Like, this is where speed comes in, is important. Smoke is behind him. I mean, he's all alone back here. He's waiting to catch this touchdown pass. But watch Sauce close the gap right here. Like, Excellent job of closing the gap and not panicking. That's the key. No panic right here, and he's waiting till the ball hits him in the chest. He's playing blind, in other words. Like this key at the end, this play at the end is so important. A lot of young guys right here interfere. But Sauce has body control, all right? And he's waiting for Smoke Brown, John Brown right here, to put both hands on the ball. And when he does, he gets his hands inside and strips the ball out for another pass defense. Sauce doesn't save lives, but he does save touchdowns. I just wanted to say that. The New York Jets select Sauce Gardner. The Jets were fortunate enough to draft twice in the top 10 picks in 2022. General Manager Joe Douglas and his crew struck gold by drafting both offensive and defensive rookies of the year. Now, surrounded by a veteran core, with a year under their belt, I don't expect both Wilson or Gardner to regress in year two.